Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is an update on my nine Velo wheel set. So let me give you a quick rundown for people who haven't heard about this. Basically, they sent me these wheels for free to review. I rode them for a while and then the hub broke. I sent them off to get repaired. They repaired it and sent it back to me. That was all fine. Then I rode it some more and then the hub broke again. And then when I sent it back to be repaired, basically I got ignored. So after that, I made a video calling them out on their hubs and how it had failed twice. And yeah, that's basically where we are now. So after I made that video, Nine Velo did actually finally reach out to me. They did eventually send me the rear wheel back. Obviously, it's left a very sour taste in my mouth that I had to basically make a video calling them out in order to get this wheel returned. So yeah, not an ideal situation, as you can see. But I thought it was only fair for me to explain um, more about what happened. Nine Velo told me that a batch of their hubs, what the batch which I got, obviously, was um, not up to their standards. So yeah, it was a manufacturing problem, not something which I did to the wheels, which is nice to know. Yeah, basically the hub which I received, that model has completely stopped being sold now. So all of the hubs from Nine Velo moving forward are going to be the ratchet style hubs rather than the three pole style ones. I don't really know much about the technical specifications of them. So anyway, I would like to move forward from this whole situation. So I'll definitely be using this wheel set in the future. So I'll be bringing you an updated video on that, but it might be quite a while because I'm in the process of moving countries at the moment. So yeah, maybe two or three months before I get that out. So I just want to say, if you are thinking of buying these wheels, be sure to do your due diligence on them. So when you're buying something, and this applies to any product really, not just bike things, make sure you watch a whole load of videos about it, not just videos, written reviews, and make sure you think about where the motivation for the reviewer is coming from. Think about whether the reviewer is getting paid for it, whether they receive the wheels for free, because that is definitely going to introduce some bias into the video. So when I reviewed these wheels for the first time, obviously I was given them for free, but I made that very clear in the video. So make sure the reviewer you're watching says whether they got it for free or not, because that does make a big difference. Also, if you are having a problem with any company trying to get a return or something like that, be sure to call them out on social media because that sometimes is the only way to get a company to do the right thing. So even if you're not a big YouTuber or something, make sure to call them out on Instagram or Twitter or whatever you have because companies do not want to look bad in front of the public, basically. Yeah, all right, that's about it from me. Um, in the future, I will be reviewing these wheels for sure. I've got some gravel wheels on the way as well. There'll be a lot of new unboxings coming soon. I actually asked them to change this hub to a SRAM one because I'm changing my group set from Shimano Sura to SRAM Rival, which is gonna be a huge upgrade for me. So some good things coming up in the next few months. And moving forward, I'm not going to be accepting anything for free. So everything from this point forward is going to be paid by me. It's gonna be a completely independent review. I don't want to have my opinion change by the fact that a company has sent me something for free. So yeah, if you want some more independent, honest reviews and lots of bike and fitness videos, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. All right, peace out. So bonus cat update. She's had her cone taken off and she is very fit and healthy. And in approximately three weeks, we are going to be heading back to the UK and she's going to become an outdoor cat. So yeah, that's a kiki update right there. Look at all this fluff coming off. It's disgusting. She's just shedding everywhere. <laughs> all right, see you in the next one.